the restless, irritable artist must have seen something in the grace and the movement of the ballet dancers that captured him, because the next 30 years would see them inspire a tremendous and intense output of art. Degas drew his subjects as if caught from a random glance, with odd angles that were inspired by Japanese woodblock prints. He preferred to show the ballet dancers between performances, the anxious wait for their cue, the strain of rehearsal, the routine. Degas wanted to capture their strive for perfection. There's tons of amazing art inside these walls, but to help more people discover it, we had to break down the walls and put it in places they'd least expect to find it. Introducing PMA Go, a game that takes art beyond the brick and out into the streets of Portland, Maine. Use your map to find the art, then tap to collect it. Keep searching. There, you've unlocked your first collection. Share your progress with friends and earn rewards for each collection you complete. Edgar Degas, an artist who was considered an impressionist, but in fact despised the term. Degas preferred to create art indoors, studying his subjects carefully, while many impressionists painted in open air spontaneously. Degas is known for painting and sculpting dancers, which we'll learn were actually quite controversial during his time. Degas was born in Paris in 1834 and began painting early on in his life. His mother was not from Paris, but from New Orleans, an amateur opera singer, and his father a banker. A moderately wealthy family, but like the modernist artists, he wanted to move beyond creating traditional art. He wanted to paint life as he saw it, with images from real life, rather than history or literature. Degas thus considered himself a realist artist, studying and painting how he saw everyday life, real people, their movements and unusual postures. 